Hello everyone. Now this is one uh, real case study for one DFO user from uh, Peru, and we can see this drive is undetected. It's one Seagate pension drive, and it's Rosewood A5. Now we can see this is the uh, com terminal. We can see the drive has entered its LED status. After the drive enters the LED status, the user cannot do anything. But um, after we meet this kind of situation, we can try to power off and power on the drive. Now we can see we send the unlock key, and then we can use Control Z. And this time, we need to keep pressing Control Z, and we can back up the 35 here. Edit as well as file 35 3 com and read. Okay. Now after we back up the angelist, we can view the angelist to see its entries. Now we can see the V40 cannot be viewed. So there is something wrong with the service error with the angelist. So we need to do this one again because the drive enters LED now. Uh, we can try to clear and power off, power on the drive again, send unlock key. Okay, now V40 again. Now, so this means the angelist has a problem. So we need to avoid to using to use this command now, and we we can try to use other command and see if the LED can be bypassed or not. So we need to use Control Z before this one. So the timing is very important to enter F3 to prompt. I4 M0631234522 Now we are regenerating the translator. After this one, we will see if the drive is fixed or not. And we will check the V40 again to see if the drive enters LED or not. So this means the LED status is caused by the engine corruption or not. Now let's wait until the translator regeneration completes.
When the drive is unstable, the transient regeneration takes longer time. So we can wait. Okay, now we can try to uh, check Now we need to wait a little bit The arrow keeps coming with this COM terminal uh, Really this time, uh, at this time we need to go to the defects management and now the drive enters LED. We can try to power off and power on the drive again. Send an OK to see if the drive enters LED or not. Now, right now, we can refresh the hard drive ID. Now we can see the drive is detected already. Click cancel and we can go to ATM mode and then initialize ID. We can try to refresh RAM by re enter the program. Opt-in details. Okay, the RAM is totally refreshed. So at this time, we, we use this function again. Now we can see this one. We need to untick the major catch and keep this three. Click modify. Now we can try to uh, read it again. make sure the write was successful now it's okay so at this time we need to check the data error and we just to check the ending part of the data error for example 1900 and the same length but smaller a little bit okay to check if this part the data is accessible so this means now we can see the percentage is 97 uh, it's almost the ending part of the pension drive this means the full data error is accessible so this means we have recovered the lost data and the firmware error has been fixed. Now we can try to uh, go to the DFL C panel. We can see uh, on all channels, the user has connected one drive for data recovery. So this client is really busy. Now uh, we can select the SATA2. This is the current pension drive we are working on. So we select SATA2 and click DDP. 
uh, to open the uh, DDP data recovery software and we set up one new project file extraction okay now we can see these are all the lost partitions we have recovered by the DFL from repair software and the data recovery software now uh, we can try to double click this one and we can see here uh, the last folders and files here and users can select the wanted folders and data and right click to save file or recover selected files so it's very easy to use the DFL data recovery tools to recover the lost data thank you for watching the video